Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's video. So as you know, I have been getting into another aspect of crafting, and that's stamps. And I, I mean, like, actual, like, ink. You take the little rubber piece, you put it on the ink pad, and you put it on paper. Stamp. Not like you lick them and put them on, um, like, an envelope stamp. Though I know a lot of people collect those, and that's great. That's just not really part of crafting. So I thought... As part of some of my crafting videos, I would share a little bit of my craft room with you. And today I'm going to share with you where I store my crap, my crafts. That could have sounded bad. Crafts. C-R-A-F-T-S. And <laughs> I just totally lost it. <laughs> I hate words like that. <laughs> okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh my gosh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> so I thought today I would share with you where I store my stamps. And then I'd share a few of my favorite stamps with you and where I like to find my stamps. So let's get started before I say something else. Here is, you've seen it kind of in the background. Um, this is a bookcase that I got at a yard sale um, last year, a couple years ago. It was either last year or 2018. Um, I got this bookshelf at a garage sale for $5, and it's been like the best friend of my craft room. Um, last year, um, over the summer when I was working at the thrift store as a volunteer, these pink tubs came in and there are 10 of them and I got them for a dollar a piece with 25% off for um, volunteering. So I actually paid 75 cents a piece for them, which is great. They all matched. I love them. They fit great on my shelves. But here is my stamping area. So this container here is all about inks and ink cleaners. This is my wooden stamps. And this box here is my Stampin' Up stamp roller. So I figure I'd share with you those things back at the desk so you can see a little bit more in depth. So the first box I'm going to show you is my box of ink. So this is my ink tub. And I like to get my ink at um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is a regional store. Um, they have some, it's by Stamp Abilities. Some is $3.99 and some is $4.99 and so I have just I think that's it I have four of those stamp inks and I have a dark purple and a red and a navy blue and a bright pink in those as you can see they're still in the seal I haven't opened those quite yet I'm um, in here I also have my stamp cleaner along with a stamp cleaning pad. This is brand new in package. I haven't taken it out. I just got it recently. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of stamping yet because um, I didn't have the cleaning stuff. And so um, I did get this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $3.49 for the um, little scrubby thing and the instructions say apply stamp cleaner directly onto stamps or to the textured side I don't know if you can hear that or like, this is like just a plain foam side and this is like kind of a scrungy side um it says um sorry place the pad on the work service texture side up and rub the stamp across or pick it up to scrub stamps clean um do not use with solvent cleaners. And to clean this, you rinse the pad with just soap and water and let it dry. So that's super simple and super easy. So this goes with the stamp cleaner. So one of the, some of the other ink I have, um, I have this one. It's a washable ink. It's by Melissa and Doug. Um, and it's um, it came in some stamps I got at a yard sale. I'm keeping it like it is a backup. Um, four of my favorite stamps are, um, or my favorite inks are my Distressed inks. These are by Tim Holtz. Um, they're more kind of like a stain. I have a black soot, 
a vintage photo, a walnut, and a tea die. And I love these for like edging, um, like scrapbooking pieces. Um, give, it gives them just a little extra depth. And so even though these aren't technically ink pads for like stamping, I have them in here because they're so small, I don't want to lose them. This package of ink is actually one that Sam got me um, for Easter. It's um, ink pads. It's a pigment style ink as opposed to a dye ink. And there's a red, black, blue, and green. And he just got this. It's Walmart brand. And I haven't opened it quite yet. Like I said, I hadn't really gotten into my stamps too much just because I didn't have the cleaner. But I have that now, so I'm excited. This is my pride and joy thing that I purchased. I got this, again, at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $25, but I used a 40% off coupon on it, so I got a really good deal. They're fade-resistant dye inks, and they're little individual pods. And I'll open it up so you can see. As you can see, they're brand new. Haven't opened them. But they're like little leaves so that I can take like my ink, my stamp, and just go over it. So I'm very excited to be using these. And I have 12 of those, I think. Yeah, I have 12 colors in that. So they had a couple different options and color palettes. Um, so I this one came with Toffee Crunch, Love Letter, Morocco, Peanut Butter, Espresso Truffle, Northern Pine, Olive Grove, Pistachio. Pistachio is the one that I showed you. Um, gray Flannel, Nautical Blue, Teal Zeal, and Elderberry. So I'm very excited to use those um, for my inks. So those are my inks, and like I said, they all fit in this one tub, so all my inks are in the same place. I'm not having to dig through my stamps to try to find um, where my ink-specific ink pad is, especially with some of the smaller ones. So I'm going to put this away, I'm going to grab my stamps, and I will share with you some of my favorite stamps. So hold on just a sec. So the next thing that I'm going to share with you is my tub of stamps so this is it's just another one of the pink tubs and it's full of wooden block stamps i've got lots of different types of stamps in here i've got generic stamps i've got um whew, i've got stamps that run away i've got two different um types of letter stamps i've got smalls and larges um some of these i've picked up at um, the store, like at um, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's. A majority of them, however, I have picked up at garage sales and thrift stores. Um, the thing I love about going to garage sales and thrift stores for craft supplies is that typically people have done stamps for X amount of time. And they just kind of lose interest in them and they are sitting in a closet and when they are getting ready for a garage sale, they just sell it. And they put a pretty cheap price on them. I got a two gallon bag with a whole bunch of stamps on it in it at a garage sale and I shared that in a video and I will link that down below. Um, it had everything from sea life creatures um, to Valentine's and Christmas, and then the, um, the letters to things like it had a new address stamp in it. Um, so you could send someone a card that says, Hey, we have a new address. Um, Sam got me some stamps at Walmart for Easter because he knew I was getting into stamping and he found some on clearance because our Walmart in Newton was resetting their craft area and so everything in there was on clearance and Sam got me and I love this it's a llama <laughs> I think it's absolutely adorable I think it's absolutely cute and Sam got that for me and I adore it 
So I'm going through this box and you would not believe how many, like there's so many stamps in here. Um, but I have everything from generic. I have some stampin' up. I've got Christmas. Um, eventually what I will do, um, I, cause unfortunately I won't be able to get any more of these pink tubs. I'm going to have to, um, change up how I organize things. <sighs> um, I, my goal eventually, Sam will probably keel over. Um, I'd like to have a tub for each holiday. Like, so I could say, okay, well, these are my Christmas stamps. These are my um, Valentine's stamps. These are my uh, generic stamps. These are my sea life stamps, yada, yada, yada. Um, but anyway, you don't care about that right now. You care about what my favorite stamps are. So this stamp I got at Joann's. It was on clearance for $2 and it's simply, it's a pretty, it's a large block and it's just a whole bunch of different hearts. And what I like about this is I can use some of those little teardrop inks and I can ink each one individually. Or I can say this is, section is going to be one color, this section is going to be another and so on. I because then I can make um, something real fun with that, like a card. These I got at our local thrift store here in Hillsboro, and I've shared a video on when I picked these up. They're M&Ms, so I've got a big M&M, and I've got a little M&M, and you you can see that they were like never used. Um, you can tell when a stamp's been used. It's got some sort of residue on it, like this one. I'm gonna have to end up cleaning that one because whoever used it last didn't clean it and they just sold it at the yard sale. Another one of my favorite stamps is another one I got at our local thrift store. And this one I paid a dollar for. Oh, the M&M ones I paid 80 and 50 cents for. But it's a massive stamp, it's super detail oriented. And I would, I would use one of my bigger ink pads and I actually would probably stamp this in black. And they do sell a massive black ink pad. That's one of the things on my list that I can simply stamp it and stamp it on a card and then color it with colored pencils or markers. Um, and I, so I love this stamp. It's super heavy duty too. And then one of my last stamps that I really, really like, I mean, I love all my stamps, but I mean, it's kind of like in scrapbook paper. I have some scrapbook paper that I absolutely adore and like I will never use it. Um, this is a big stamp frame and I paid $2 for it. You can hear that it's a wood block, it's heavy duty. And again, it's never been used or it's been very, very well taken care of. There's no ink around the sides. Um, but it would make for a beautiful um, border for like a, a picture or on a card. So that is this box of stamps. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got everything from these huge stamps. I've got itty bitty little flower stamps. I've got Christmas. I've got birthday. I've got random llamas. Um, it's just, it's a hodgepodge in here. And so that's kind of one of the problems with this, this method of, of, having stamps is that I just don't have a good organizational way to be able to grab what I want when I want them. So that, you know, watch out for another video coming soon on Lena goes shopping for new containers while Sam cries. <laughs> because I think I changed my organizational process a lot. Um, but I'm just trying to find the best way to sort and organize and put things away. Sorry, I'm just making, now that I've taken everything out, I've got to get it all back in here. <laughs> Another problem with this style of keep, of storing stamps. Okay. the lid went back on. <laughs> so the only, the other container I have with my stamp is my rolling stamp from Stampin' Up. And I was actually really fortunate to find it um, at the time when I got my other stamps from the etc. shop. Um, it's just simply a stamp that rolls and you just, it comes with its own little ink thing and you roll it across and you know, you're done with it. So that's the only other stamp that I have. And so 
that is that. That is my, that is how and where my stamps are organized. So that is where I store my stamps and how I store my stamps. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section below. You can see the bookcase right over here over my shoulder. It's where my um, scrap um, items are stored in these boxes right here. But that is for another video. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.